Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll see why do we need JSP. Till this point what we have done is we got this form so when you click on this submit button it will call add and we have a servlet who is responsible to handle your request and it is working perfectly right. So you can see we are asking for two values, we are adding those values and then we are printing on the page. So just to see the output what I will do is I will right click here I would say run as an on server and on the Firefox that's what that's the browser I'm using so if I say 4 and if I enter a value let's say 6 so it will add those two values that's it. So if I click on submit you can see we got 10 so we are simply adding two values. Now let me just add some twist. The twist is see ultimately on the client page we I mean on the client side we are getting a page right so if I right click and if I say view source you can see a view source itself is this data. There's no HTML tag and nothing. So we don't have HTML tags, right? Because we are not building anything. We are not creating any HTML tag here. And that's fine. Even if you want to make a web page, you just have to make sure that your response is of type HTML. You don't have to write any tags. But what if I want to customize something? What if you want to change the background color? Maybe I want the background color to be blue here or cyan or maybe red. How do I change a background color? Even if I want to do that, where should I do it? Now, if you want to do any, if you want to send any tags, because see, ultimately, this client page or the client side will receive HTML tags, right? So if you want to send HTML tags, you have to do it from here. So that means with your text, you have to also send the HTML tag. So you have to say HTML open and you have to say head open. And then you have to say, in fact, we'll, we can skip that part and we can simply say body bg color equal to in single code i'll mention the color as here and that's my favorite color so once you are opening everything and inside this body oh we have we forgot to close the body tag and that's very difficult you know to track uh, the tags and if you make one mistake you will not get errors you know in html you go, don't get errors you don't get output so that's one thing which is scary and how do we close all the tags again we have to say print ln in fact print will do and here I would say body close first you have to that's that's important right you have to remove the sequence as well so you have to close the body tag and then you can close the html tag now you will say that's okay right we can do that so we can simply pass the html tags in the format of out.print and as a user a user will receive all these tags in a proper format let me show you the outputs I will restart the server I'm using a shortcut to restart the server you can try it by right click and restart Let's go back to Firefox and now if I say refresh and submit, you can see we got a page with a different color and the output is output 10. So if I say view source, you can see we got the HTML tags as well and everything is working fine. The thing is to create a simple page, we have to write all these tags, right? And it is possible for us. Normally we write each tag in different out.println so that we can debug later. Here I'm just doing some shortcut, it is working. What if you want to create a beautiful page? Example, if I go to any website, let me just go, go to Wikipedia and inside Wikipedia, if I go for any text, let's say if I go for any title, doesn't matter. Uh, so let's say if I search for this earthquake, okay, we got this page, right? And if I right click and if I say views a source, you can see that we have so many text here and we have to write everything inside out.println. So just to create a beautiful page, you have to write all those things in out.println. Do you think is it flexible? Of course not, right? And that's where the problem starts because designing is done by designers and uh, the backend work is done by developers. And so de developers sometimes don't like designing and designing, I mean, designer people don't, they, do, they don't like development. How they work together? Because the Java developers, they will write Java code and they will ask designers, hey designers, just put your tags inside out.println and they will not like it, right? So all these designers, they went on strike. They said, hey, Sun Microsystem, we don't want to use Java technology because in Java, we are supposed to write HTML tag inside Java code. That's not right. So Java says, okay, don't worry. We will give you a new feature, which is called as JSP. In JSP, we'll do reverse. You know, we, we will write the Java code inside HTML. Oh, I know you don't trust me. Let's do it. So what I will do is I will do the same thing. I want to add two numbers, but this time I will use JSP. Now what is JSP? JSP stands for Java Server Pages. Now instead of using servlet, we can also use JSP to do the same thing. A servlet here is simply accepting these two values, adding it and sending the response. The same thing can be done with the help of JSP. Let me show you how. So right click on your project and say, hey, I want a JSP page and I will name this JSP as add.jsp. We can have any name, doesn't matter. And this JSP, you can see that we have HTML tags here and then inside this HTML, we will write Java code. 
Oh, first of all, I want to change the body color, right? That's important. So I will say BG color equal to, I would say cyan. That's the color I want. And here, I want to add two numbers, right? So of course, we have to write the same code. So I will just simply copy this code, fetch the data and add it. Okay, there's one thing missing now. The request object, right? In servlet, we are creating the, uh, creating the reference here. In JSP, we don't have to do that. JSP will give you this object by default. So JSP will give you this uh, reference variable by default. Now these things are also called as implicit objects in JSP. Again, we'll see that later. So once we got this Java code, now I want to print the data on the client page, right? So I would simply say out.println and your job is done. You don't even have to create object of out or print writer because that's by default in JSP. I would say output uh, colon, I would say plus and that's it. So what we do in servlet, we write HTML code inside Java. In JSP, we do reverse. We write Java code inside HTML and this is much simpler, right? Because you are focusing on HTML here and here you're focusing on Java. You're not mixing it up. They're separated with, oh, we have, we are not separating them. How do we separate them? Because if I run this code as it is, it will display this content on the page. I don't want to display this content on a page. I just want to run this code. In that case, you will use a delimiter. So you, can, you will use angular bracket percentage and you have to close this tag as well. So here you have to say percentage angular bracket. So whatever code you write between these two things, it is it is it will be treated as Java code. So that's simple, right? So we will not be using a servlet now. Let me just close this. I will only use JSP. So you have you don't have to send a request for add. We have to send a request for JSP name. So whatever JSP name is, in this case the JSP name is add.jsp. Just mention that. So simply say add.jsp, it will call this add.jsp. So no need for any annotation, nothing. This should work. Let's verify. So I will right click here. I would say run as an on server. I can see that we got the output here. And uh, I mean, we got the page. I will say eight and nine. You can see we got 17 and oh, is it really working? Okay. Well, what I will do is I will change the color. I doubt this something. I think there's something wrong going on. Let me restart the server. I guess the server have not restarted. That's the problem. So let me just go back here, refresh and submit. Oh, it's working. So I was waiting for this thing, which is add.jsp. I know we hate red color. It is very, it's giving some trouble to the eyes. I will go back to cyan. I was just verifying everything is working. Okay, you can see, we can see we got cyan is a pleasant color, right? And you can see we got add.jsp on the, in the address bar. So yes, this is, we are calling JSP here. So which is better? JSP, right? Because in servlet, we have to do so many things. Uh, we have to get a class, we have to extend a class, we have to get a method which takes two parameters and then create the object of print writer out, out and then you can do other thing. In fact, in that also, if you want to design something, we have to write HTML tag inside J inside Java code. But in, in, J in JSP, it's very simple, right? You write HTML code, you write Java code separately and everything, everything works fine. So yes, JSP is a good option. But then why to learn servlet? If JSP is so beautiful, why to learn servlet? So we have some uh, reason for that. I will, uh, so in the next video, we'll see that why we still use servlet when you have JSP. Can we work with JSP and servlet together? I hope you enjoyed this video where we have seen why JSP came into picture and how we can use JSP that we'll see later. So that's it from this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Like, click, on, click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.